So, as soon as you load it up, you'll see this screen here. Uh, Terraria main page. You can grab the sun if you want and do it over here. So, good idea. Sorry, <laughs> it distracted me. But yeah, you've got single player, multiplayer, and settings. So, I'm going to show you the settings. You've got window mode, or you've got full screen mode. You can change your cursor color to whatever color you want. I'm going to change it to orange because I fancy it. Uh, you've got your volumes, and your music, and your sound. I'm going to turn down the music. <coughs> Excuse my cough a little bit. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, then you've got your controls. W up, down S, left A, right D, jump space, throw Q, inventory escape. Uh, parallax, I actually don't know what that is, so we'll leave that. And you've got frame rate skip off. Uh, you've got your multiplayer, just like Minecraft, where you could join a server with your character that you've created, but I'll show you that in a second, character creation. Uh, or you can start your own server by clicking on that and you start your own server. So that's the multiplayer settings. And then we've got single player. We just got my main character here, this is my little guy. But for the purposes of videos and stuff, um, I'm going to make a new character because this is the first night within uh, Terraria. So I'm gonna go straight in and change his hair. You got you can actually customize your character. And I'm gonna pick a mohawk that's bright red. I like that. That's quite cool. That's pink. Okay. Uh, eyes. I'm gonna leave the same. Skin. I'm gonna leave the same. Um, and then clothes, his shirt, I'm going to make a nice bluey colour. Yeah, I like that colour, that colour's cute. And his undershirt, going to make it the same colour. And then his pants, aka trousers, jeans if you're in America. No trousers if you're in America. No, they're called pants in America. We call them, we call them jeans here, or just trousers. Uh, I don't like the same colour as his shirt. Got a nice deep blue for jeans. And then Mystic is your shoes, which I'm just going to change to white. Whitey green blue type colour. And then you go back, and then you go Greek. His name, I'm going to. already got one called Grimm, so I'll call it uh, IIX Grimm. Grimm. So we've got two characters IIX Grimm's and Grimm, so we pick on Grimm's. And that's my main world, but I'm going to create a new world. You've got small, medium, or large. I'm going to go with medium. The name for it I shall pick as YouTube. Doesn't really matter about a name, but you know, YouTube world. Uh, and, a second. and then it will make the world. Um, depending on the size, it takes different time to make the worlds. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about Terraria. Basically, Terraria is a game in which you dig Oh, wait a second, let me just plug in my laptop, because it's not got charge. Ah, never mind. Uh, sorry about the beeping sound. I'm charging? I'm charging, right. Uh, yeah, so Terraria basically is the a 2D um, sandbox game in which you dig, uh, cut down trees, explore, and uh, basically build and, you know, do that kind of stuff. Um, and you... The main, I'd say, thing that attracts people, or has attracted people, um, from Minecraft to Terraria, is the fact that um, there's a lot more mobs and a lot more items to craft, and there's a lot more um, elements that Minecraft doesn't have, um, whereas Terraria does have. So it's got a bit for everyone, I'd say. Um, it's a very good game in the sense that, um, oh, it's loading. Due to the fact that it is 2D, it runs pretty well. There might be a little bit of lag because you know my battles with lag, but yeah, it's generally the gist of it. You dig, you explore, you fight mobs, and you do all crazy kind of stuff. So yeah, it's pretty good. And also another good thing that, as well as mobs within um, Terraria, you get mob bosses. And if you do certain things, then you get bosses. Uh, I tried playing online, and within the first 10 minutes of me playing online, someone summoned the one of the bosses, and we got raped over pretty much, because the bosses are so powerful and so strong, they just rape you over. Ah, so here we go. We're in my, uh, Minecraft. No, we're not in Minecraft. We're in Terraria. So, using the buttons, we 
start off in a sand biome, which is not very cool. I'd say that sucks. Uh, plug in my mouse, that would help as well, Joseph, wouldn't it? Yes, it would, it would indeed. There we go, mouse plug in. Right. I think I've got lag. Ah, oh, great. So anyway, yeah, you see here, you've got a guide who will give you a tutorial if you go up close to him and talk to him. But we don't need the tutorial, because that's what I'm here for. So this green thing here is a slime. And they're pretty annoying. And you kill them and you get gel, which is there. Uh, which is used to make torches. But first off, I'm going to start with the tools. See the tools there? Unlike Minecraft, when you use a tool, uh, they don't have a durability. They last forever. Um, they last f until you destroy them, I suppose. Um, but yeah, when you want to dig down on, say, sand or dirt or whatever, you use a pickaxe instead of a shovel. It's slightly strange, but oh well, that's the way it works. So first off, your first thing that you want to do is you want to get some wood. Wood is the main resource in the beginning of the game because it's the easiest to get. And as you can see, there's a lot of wood. Yay for wood. See there, that's copper. But we're not going to touch that right now. We're going to get some wood going. And to be honest, this world is kind of sucky. In all honesty. That one's going to get me. Go away. Ah, uh, I launched him off. And but what I'm trying to do now is try and find some flat land in which I don't die because of stupid slimes. Die slime. Yeah. Got pooned. But yeah, let's get some words and try and find some flat land. That's on preferably on top of the hill. See, within a matter of like a minute, we've already got over nine, nearly a hundred. Not over a hundred, nearly a hundred wood. So, you basically just get your axe, chop the bottom of the tree, use the number keypad to change from the hotbar at the top, or you can scroll using the mouse, change, um, and you basically just try and set yourself up a base before the night comes, or you die. So, wood it is, some more wood, I might do my base here, it's quite a nice area. Clear these trees, dig out this dirt a little bit, make a flat down and make a nice building. Uh, also, a nice little touch that the developers of Terraria have is when you make your house, if you put a table and a chair and have a light source, uh, NPCs will come, like merchants, medics, um, demolition specialists, there's a few more but I can't remember the names of them. And uh, the, the ones higher up, you need special uh, specifications for. And my god, there's three slimes, I've just really noticed. <laughs> Go away, you poxy slimes. Yeah, you do kind of get raped by slimes. Hopefully a pinky won't come along, because they've got like 100% health. They're really annoying. Go away. Go away. There we go. Slime's dead. So, we're going to just dig off this dirt. There we go, we've got a nice flat land to start our uh, area. Actually, I'm going to go one more down. And then do my flat wooden surface upon that. There we go. Ooh. The uh, day and night cycle is quite quick within the game. So... So uh, you want to do things pretty fast. To build something, all you do is you select your um, item. You can either click it, scroll it, or use the, the buttons coded for it. And you get it, and you basically just put it on and just hold, and move your character along, and it'll build. Then to build up, you do the same thing, but move your mouse up and across. Quickly, 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 do a wall, do a wall, do a wall. There we go. Uh, slime block getting in now. And you drag it along while holding. And we have a house. So, a bit of wondering oh, how do I bring up an inventory? Press the escape button, and bang, there's your inventory. You've got your hotbar here. You've got your backpack here. 
and you've got your coins stored here. You've got your helmet, your shirt, your pants and accessories, basically your armors, and then your accessories, which is all stuff that you find in dungeons. Straight away you can craft from without a crafting bench or anything like that. You can craft torches out of gel and wood. So I'm gonna make some of them. Put them on the end. Wood platforms I don't need right now. And a workbench. AKA a crafting bench. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it um there. And uh, place it there. So and then to use the crafting bench you press escape and it adds to your crafting selection here. So as you can see here, behind my person, uh, you can still see the sky. That means this, this room's like open. So what we need to do is we need to make a wall. So what we do is we highlight the wall, we click it, we say let's get about 60. That should do us. Highlight it and move along and click individually in the space where you want the wall. So just click, keeping it all nice and neat. Because we don't want like patches like this all over the place. So it's all like crazy. See, you've got all dirty lines and stuff. So go over along and we patch up and we do it nice and slow. Keeping it looking nice unless you want the rough dodgy effect. I'm going to have to make some more wall in a minute. Wall? Wall? Wooden wall. Haha, <laughs> my English accent is coming into play there. So we're clicking, making a wall, the slimes can't get us, which is good. We want to have uh, walls, so we make some more. Gonna make 40 more. Should do us really, hopefully. Uh, there we go. Don't worry about the edges because when you're in Terraria, you're bound to make um, higher levels within your house so the NPCs will come and stay with you because you've got to entice them in make your house look all nice and pretty ah uh, damn it I need one more wall maybe I don't want four oh, actually no I need one okay two so we've got a house we've got a nice little wooden house so with the torches we're going to bash one on top there just how we place like any other consumable block you just highlight where you want it and tap it and bang it goes on so we've got some light so now we want some doors so we go back to our crafting bench press escape and we come up to the crafting menu and we're going to make two doors and they require six wood each so we go back to where we want our doors and I want one on either side and doors have to be three high three wooden blocks high my I remember correctly. Come on, come on, before the slime gets me. Ah, it is not good enough timing. Damn it. Come on, slime, die already. There we go, we got heart from it, so that's all good. Go to the other side, bash out this rock. Not this rock, this bit of wood, three high. And then you put the door on. Another little thing that might interest you about Terraria is when you want to go through doors, you right click on the door, go out, go back in, right click, close it. Pretty basic stuff really. Uh, another thing that interest or I wanted to find out as soon as I started playing is what happens when I die? And you don't want to experience dying because well it's not a nice experience really. But if you die, you won't lose your stuff, you only lose your coins. Which is a good thing to make a chest or a piggy bank. Uh, you can buy a piggy bank from later on in the game when you get a merchant and store your coins in there or put coins in the chest because coins are actually used to buy stuff from the merchants or the, the demolition person or the medic to heal you so I think I want to entice my um, NPC man, my guide into my house so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a table and a chair highlight table, uh, highlight wooden chair sorry and that takes four wood so put a chair there, scroll down a bit, and we've got a wooden table which requires eight wood. And we put them on the hot bar so we can place them. And I'm gonna put my wooden chair right in the end and put it there. Highlight my table and put it there. Bosh. Now the NPC within time should come and join my house. He'll either teleport here or he'll run over and come in and he'll stay. He's not really helpful to be honest because he doesn't really tell you much. But yeah, that's that's the general part 